Four flight account administrators can easily manage the pilots, devices, and Jeppesen chart coverages on their account in the Organization tab on Four Flight Web. Any user can sign in to Four Flight on the web by clicking Login at the top right of fourflight.com. Once you're signed in to Four Flight on the web, Administrators are going to see additional options on the left sidebar. The one we're going to focus on in this video is the Organization tab. Only administrators are going to be able to see this tab because you're going to be managing users, devices, and subscriptions. When we first get to the Organization tab, we're going to see the Users view. At the top right corner, we've got a macro view of everything available to us. We've currently got three users on the account. We have one of four iPads being used and zero of four iPhones. In the user section here, you can see that I've already added a couple of users. If I need to add someone new, I can click add user. Here you have the option to enter up to five email addresses at one time. If you have a ton of users that you need to add, you can click the CSV option and you can import a list. Either way, when you add these users to your account, they will get an email saying that they've been added to the company account and they'll be invited to set a password. If your new users are already ForeFlight customers, they won't be invited to set a new password because they will already have one, um, but they will be notified that they were added to the group. If a user leaves your company, you can click remove on the right side of their name. And this will completely uh, sign them out of any devices that they're signed into and take them off of the account. Another thing that we can manage here is more details for each user. So I'm going to click on pilot one here. And this takes me into their view. If I click edit on the right side here, I can put in a name. I can update their email address. I can reset their password. And I can also set another user as an administrator. And I'll go ahead and hit update. Within this specific user, I can see devices that they're signed into, and I can also choose which Jeppesen coverages are available to them. So right now we've got inherit, meaning that whatever you've set up at the top level, everyone can see, everyone has the same access. But if you want to customize, if you only want them to see, for example, the full US coverage, you just check that box, and you click update. That way you can make sure that uh, the right users are getting the right Jeppesen coverages sent to their devices. The last thing I wanna show you on the users view here is that you have the ability to export this data. So if we click export on the right here, it's just gonna download a CSV file and that way you can quickly see, especially if you have a large organization, you can quickly grab all of this data and, and audit if you need to. The other view here on the organization tab is devices. This is going to specifically show the devices that are in use in your organization. Right now I've only got one user signed into one iPad that's why that's all I'm seeing here but this is where compliance comes into play. Um, so we saw a little bit of detail on the users view but specifically to this iPad, I can see the iOS version of that iPad, the last time that this user made contact with ForeFlight. I can make sure that they're running the latest version of the app. And I can see if their charts or documents are current. You can see right now, this data section says expired. If I click into this, I can see exactly which items are expired on the left and which ones are current. So you can quickly come in here and see, you know, okay, well maybe they're not going to Europe right now, so they don't need these European charts. Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Um, but if they were flying into Europe 
you want to make sure they have those charts, you can see what they're missing and uh, give them a little nudge, prompt them to download those updates. Same thing with documents here. Uh, in our other admin video, we talked about smart documents. So these are the documents that you as the admin have set up and shared to the group. This says current, but just to show you what this looks like, you can see none of the, none of the uh, documents are expired. A hundred of them are current. So everything, you know, whether that is their Foresight documents, FAA documents, or the smart documents that you share, these are all going to show up in here. And we'll also notify you if something is missing. So if there's a document in your smart documents folder that they don't have, we'll let you know. You've got the remove button on the right here again. So if you notice that a user is maybe signed into more iPads than they need to be, you can click remove and that will sign them out of this device. The last thing I want to point out here is, again, we have an export option. So we can click export and you can choose how much detail you want to see. Um, do you just want to see the devices? Do you want to see kind of high level compliance or a detailed compliance view? And for me, I'm going to say I want to see as much as I can see. Click export and we're going to generate that report for you. And there you go. It's got it's downloaded right there. If you have any questions about the organization tab, you can contact us at success at